Hey, this is JNM with a new Blender 2.8 sculpting video in which I will show you some tips for using the voxel remesher. I sculpted this character here and it consists of several objects for the eyes, for the body, the legs and at the backside I have some kind of hard surface models, these cables or tubes. And the first thing that I want to do now is I want to join objects, I want to join the eyes and the upper body and in order to join sculpted meshes to one object that you can use afterwards again for sculpting, you have to execute a bool union operation. But before we can do this, we have to apply the mirror modifier for the eyes here. And now there is a new way to execute a bool union using the voxel remesher. You can select the objects that you want to union in object mode and then press Ctrl and J to join them. Now we have one object, the body, but it has to be remeshed to have a proper geometry for sculpting. And these actions to join and then voxel remesh is actually a bool union with a specified resolution that you can set using the voxel remesher. So I change to sculpt mode, then I open the voxel remesh panel. Here the voxel size is set, this is the resolution which is quite high, 0.003. And with these settings I try to remesh the body. And usually this works pretty nice, but I want to show you a case here where it doesn't work. So have a look at this result here, totally messed up, awful. And this can happen when your mesh has holes in it. I press Ctrl and set to undo. And then I will show you what you can do when issues like that occur. Okay, the mesh has holes that we don't see. And the voxel remesher should fill these automatically, but at the moment or at the current stage of development it doesn't. But I have an add-on installed, which is called the 3D Print Toolbox, you see this here when I switch to object mode. And as the name implies it is made for 3D printing, you find it here in the preferences. It is deployed with Blender, you just have to activate it. And this add-on has a feature to check if your mesh is solid, if it is manifold. This means there are no holes in it, so I press this button, solid, and then I can see that we have 20 edges that are not manifold. Okay, this means we have holes in the mesh, but there is a clean up panel with the button make manifold. And we press this and this takes a while, go drink a coffee. And after the operation is finished, we check again, press the solid button, and now we have zero non-manifold edges, the mesh is watertight, manifold. Okay, with this mesh we can try another voxel remesh, I go to sculpt mode again. And with the same settings here in the voxel remesh panel, I press remesh and wait. And this operation is faster now and successful. Ok, with this object selected I switch to edit mode. This also takes a while and you can see that the mesh is quite dense and evenly remeshed. The eyes are integrated nicely so that we can use this mesh now for sculpting. The next tip is for these tubes and connectors. I select them in object mode and then I press Ctrl and J to join. Because I also want to remesh them for sculpting, but these are hard surface models which have crisp edges and a smooth surface. So when I would do the same as before, just joining the objects and then voxel remesh, even when I use the smooth normals and the high voxel size, you can see in the resulting mesh that the surface isn't smooth, the edges are visible as a kind of artifact and we don't want this. You can see this here when I zoom in a bit and this is not the result that I want to go with. So I have to press Ctrl and Z a few times to undo this. And then I will show you a solution. Before I remesh, I select the joint object, open the modifiers panel and add a multi-resolution modifier. The type I keep to Catmull Clark to have a smooth shading. And then I subdivide, let's say two times, that should be enough. Nice, and then I apply the modifier and in edit mode you can see that the mesh is quite dense already. 
But for an even distribution of the polygons, I go to Sculpt Mode again and Voxel Remesh. Just like before, I used the same settings. But now after the remesh, the surface is smooth. There are no artifacts and we can go ahead and sculpt onto this mesh. By the way, if you want to know the voxel size of an existing mesh, you can sample the detail size with this tool here. Select it and just hover over the mesh and click. And when you open the remesh panel again, you can see that the new voxel size is sampled. If you don't want to open the pop-up for the voxel remesher all the time, you can open the data tab for the selected object. And here is a remesh panel with the voxel remesher. At the moment there is no voxel size picker, but I think they will add it as well. Okay, there is another tab which is called Quad and there you can find the Quadri Flow remesher. A few words about this. Quadri Flow is not a remesher that you should use during sculpting. It is not the case that it is a slower version of voxel remesh that has better quality. It is still under development and can be used hopefully someday to create base meshes, for instance for hard surface models with manual guides for the edge flow to be used with the multi-resolution modifier. It is not made to decimate your mesh or for 3D printing or animation, okay? That's not the purpose. I will come up with a separate video about this when the development has more progressed. Okay, the last one is the question, should I create separate objects for my sculptings or kind of pull out new shapes from the existing mesh? I prefer to add new objects because I have more flexibility as far as the resolution, the density of the geometry is concerned. You can start with a very low poly mesh and then step by step increase the voxel size and it's more easy to find new shapes instead of to be bound to an existing density and you're not connected to a mesh, you can move around the geometry as you like, for example here by using the grab brush. And this is a kind of artistic freedom that you have, especially when you don't know how the object will look like in the end. And I use this all the time, because it is so non-destructive and easy to handle. And once you're happy with the basic shape, you can go ahead and increase the voxel size, add more details, step by step, and in my opinion this is a very nice and comfortable workflow. So these are my sculpting tips for today and of course separate objects make a lot of sense. Also for surprising content, consider this is a character in your game. So guys I hope you like this short tips, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you have other ideas for tutorials then please let me know, add these to the comments. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and if you like then support me as my patron. Thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next one.